Hey there again, this is Anselm with Surface Prep. Uh, we're doing another Back to Basics video. Today we're gonna focus on vibratory, or vibe, possibly called tumbling as well. So for this video, we're gonna bring in one of our experts, Keith Coffey. He's, uh, he's a veteran here at Surface Prep, knows a lot about vibratory, so how you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Doing well. Can you give us a kind of quick breakdown of what vibe is? Well, basically, it's uh, a lot of them we refer to it as mass finishing, basically where we can uh, finish, tumble, vibe a lot of parts at the same time. Uh, this particular application is aluminum parts, so with any finishing application, we want to ask the customer, what's the objective? What are we looking for? Are they looking just to dull the sharp edges? Are they looking for a fine finish, um, bright finish before anodizing? Or are they wanting to round the edges um, for powder coating? But so what you're saying is you don't just chunk them in a tub and let them roll all day with some rocks, no, right? Yeah, a lot more going on? There's a, there's a lot more capabilities than just throwing them in a machine and seeing what happens. Um, with the different media and compound combinations, we can, we can get a lot of different type of finishes. And especially in this type of market where it's hard to find labor, folks are looking for some productive ways to finish the parts instead of manually finish them like this customer. Like this one, yeah. That's awesome. So let's go run these parts and see what kind of finish we can get. Let's go chunk them. Yep. <laughs> All right, Keith, so customer sends us some sample parts and a uh, ideal finish part. Where do we start? Well, in that finished part, they did it with an orbital sander. So what's good about Vibe, we kind of get that satin marble finish. So we're gonna, we're gonna be real good shape there. So what we do is uh, based on some experience of what we had running aluminum parts, uh, we kind of have a, a good idea of the media and the compound that'll help us get that finish. Once we get the time cycle, then that helps us nail down the type of equipment to meet their production rate so that they have the throughput on a daily basis to meet their production rates. All right, Keith, so we've got a nice machined aluminum part here. We've got plastic media loaded up in the bowl. Why do we pick plastic? Well, plastic will give a nice, real nice finish on aluminum and it has enough cut to round off these sharp edges. But in here where we have the machining lines, it does a really great job of blending, giving us a nice set and finish. Sounds great, let's try it out. All right, Keith, so what do you think about 20 minutes on those parts, do you think that's long enough? Yeah, I think that'd be our first check to really see how well the process is doing. Because uh, a lot of times customers will run parts longer than need be. So that just wastes water and compound and the amount of throughput you can get from your machine on a daily basis. All right, Keith, so we got parts pulled after 30 minutes, dried off, what do you think? Yeah, we thought right at 20, we weren't quite there, so we ran it a little longer. We did a nice job on the edges. We blended all of the, the flat surfaces, which sometimes are even harder, but we blended the machine lines, and it overall looks really, really good, ready for anodizing. But here's the customer sample part that we did, they do by hand. Here's our part that we ran. Very, very close on the finish. Plus on here, we can, we can put a bunch in the machine at a time yeah. versus doing one, one at a time. Looks better in my opinion. Yes. All right, Keith, now we're inside. We can hear each other. Um, if you had to give a customer one or two or three things to make sure that they're doing when they're running vibratory, what would that be? Proper media levels, number one. Compounds, number two. Compound provides that cleaning, both on the parts and the media. Um, it provides uh, the cushion so that we do better deburring and it gives the brightening aspect. And then uh, the other is, is water. We wanna have enough water in there, not too much to where it becomes a washing machine. Yeah, clean water. Clean right? water, clean, clean water fresh always. water yeah. with the compound, yes. Perfect, well thanks for your time. Hey guys, please visit links below, surfaceprep.com. Call any of our locations. We've got tons of experts like Keith Coffey that can help you with your vibratory application. Thanks for your time, have a good day. Thanks.